today we are just straight building. This is not part of the ABC build challenge. This is a build in Adirin, but I couldn't make the letters work and I needed the lot. So <laughs> this is the Tickled Wench. It is actually a brothel owned by Tippy Dawn, but you know, it's also just meant to be a bit of an entertainment space. Tenby is not a very big place. You don't want just one tavern. You need to have at least two. So they actually didn't even get it to woohoo shenanigans when I played this round, which was shocking to me because previous incarnations were chaotic. But yeah, they were just like, no, we're going to be chill this round. We'll, we'll let you have this, this one round. Uh, this is a bonus video that you're obviously getting on a day I don't normally post just because I was going to save it and then I was like, I don't have any free days on my schedule right now. And so I was just like, forget it. I'm just going to post it. Sorry about that. I have a dog who's currently decided that she now eats out of the litter box and I'm not super thrilled with that development. I don't know why we've decided that we do that. She's never done it before. I have not moved the litter box, haven't changed anything, but yeah, the grossness is happening in my household. I don't know why. Like, I, I took her to the dog trainer and she started doing that and she also started getting into the trash, which she never did before. Like, all her other behavior, like the issues that we had, has been corrected, but now she does those things. And I'm just like, but I'd rather have her jump up than eat out of the litter box. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just kind of placing some windows. I decided to do stained glass. I'm really working on not making everything symmetrical. Sometimes I win and sometimes I don't. But as you can see, we have five Sims that live in this lot. We have Tippy Dawn, who is the, guess, the brothel owner, but she's just, that's just, the only reason she has it is because she's like, I don't know what else to do. Uh, there's also Azalea Sue. Jacopo Drago, Gabriella Newson, who I actually lost for a hot minute. I couldn't figure out where I'd placed her, and then I realized I'd actually placed her on this lot because she rolled to be a romance sim, and I was like, oh, well, I'll just put her there. So she's here, and then Alessandro Drago, who does not know he's a Drago. He thinks that he is a Don, so he thinks his name is Alessandro, Alessandro Don. It's a whole big thing. Basically, he is the son of Severia Drago, who is a St. Persephone nun. As I've mentioned before, they have what are considered luck babies. They are part of the succession. And his father is Alwyn Kenton, who was the heir to the throne back when the kingdom was Gallywood. So yeah, his existence would not be a great thing for Arndt Blumenthal to discover. So far, most people just assume that he's a Drago bastard, but they don't, that Tibby is his mother. But his actual mother has plans because now that Talisian uh, Kenton is like gonna be an archduke like she can see that oh Kenton blood is actually still pretty valuable because she was content to kind of leave him even after she discovered Tenby survived and that you know he was there I think Severia would have left him to just kind of be raised by Tippy be considered Tippy's son what have you but She's also a bit conniving, and now he kind of has value to her. Which I feel bad for him, because he's got Severia on one end, and then he has Tippy Dawn on the other, who, you know, while she raised him kind of out of the goodness of her heart, she also has selfish reasons for wanting to keep him. Namely, you know, he is a luck baby, and in their culture, like, that's a really good thing. There's this idea that they bring you extremely good fortune, and she feels like that's true because, you know, they survived the rebellion. She has kind of a thriving business. She hasn't aged as much as she feared. Although, you know, it's gonna happen eventually, Tippy. And yeah, so she doesn't want to get rid of him because, you know, he's lucky. He brings good fortune. Why would she want to get rid of him? And so it's gonna be interesting between the two of them because as I was playing through the round, Severia actually showed up all on her own to, like, buy a ticket to the business. I was like, oh boy. And I'd already been toying with the idea of what she was going to do because, you know, all of these stories are kind of intertwined and connected. And so it just fit in very perfectly with her going, okay, I'm going to go get, you know, this kid that I had 15-ish years ago because, hey, he actually has use to me. Only he doesn't know. So we'll have to see what happens there in terms of development. See, I'm just kind of putting a little garden here. 
there's the main area, which is just kind of where all the tables are going to be. The bar will be, the poker tables are going to be, uh, that little four by four is going to be the kitchen. That other little side, decent side room is going to be like a living room just for the workers and people who live in the lot. And then there's two bathrooms. There's the small one that's just going to have a toilet and then the, the larger one's going to have a tub in it. I end up building, I, I didn't record it, but I did end up building another outhouse type building so there was more tub and bathroom options because yeah you need more turns out <laughs> five sims don't do well with one toilet and one tub I was also devastated because I built this lot I actually decorated it which I haven't done in ages I didn't even record it I just started decorating and then two hours later I decorated the whole upstairs like really fully decorated all the bedrooms and then for whatever reason like I hit play to start the round and nothing was happening. I was like, okay, that's weird. I'm going to exit and come back into the lot. Well, then I couldn't get the lot to load. It was forever loading. I eventually had to just move them out, which means I lost all the decorating. I was very bitter about it. So yeah, I redecorated a little, but it's not to the extent it was. So I was, I was very disappointed because I was so happy with it. It looked so good. But anyways, we're pretty much near the end of the lot. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely let me know. I hope you liked having a bonus video. And yeah, uh, give the video a like if you did enjoy it as well, and I will see you in the next one.